Center. The Mirage in Las Vegas is closing for three years to make way for the Hard Rock. And Jason Derulo kicks off a Las Vegas residency. Plus, you can now vote on what will be on display on the outside of the sphere this 4th of July. Las Vegas insiders and hosts of the Vegas Revealed podcast, Dana Roselli and Sean McAllister, joining us live from Las Vegas. Oh my gosh, so many good topics to dive into. But I want to start with Jason Derulo, who I can't help but Jason Derulo now has a Las Vegas show. It debuted over Memorial Day weekend. And you guys, went and talked to him about what do you have to say it, well clearly jamie we're still dancing in that show. <laughs> the shoulder so dance is fun. in all the time too by the way <laughs> <laughs> you know jason just got done doing uh, an arena tour overseas and then he came back and put this intimate show together just for las vegas which he's really excited about it's something different yeah and he says you know what it being in las vegas is really convenient too well, yeah, I, that's especially if you live in in Los Angeles, right? And it's literally right uh, like a, a hop and a skip. So I could literally do the show here and, and still sleep in my bed. You know, mm -hmm. um, I, I think uh, having a son now, it offers me a, a home base, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is really, really cool. And it allows my life to be a little more centered. He took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, we went to see the show, and listen, it is great. It has a little bit of everything. It's in this beautiful showroom called Voltaire at the Venetian. He performed everything from Wiggle to Spicy Margarita, all of the hits. And, you know, when we talked to him about, hey, you're going to make it a little Vegas, he was like, you know what? In rehearsals, I really started putting a lot of Vegas elements in. And then I was like, wait a minute, maybe I'm going a little too Vegas. So then the shirt came off, and everyone was, was happy. <laughs> Always oh, a crowd pleaser. Yeah, it's a great show. You know what? It's a perfect blend of everything. And if you get a chance, go see it. He has so many hits. But be prepared. He goes on at like 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah. okay. So definitely nap time for me if, yep. I'm, if I'm headed nap out. Um, all right. Everyone loves looking at the outside of the sphere. You go, people stand around just, just staring at it from the street. Can you tell us about this concert? It's really a first. Yeah, this contest is really cool, and it's the first time anyone's going to be able to vote on what goes on the outside of the sphere. It's called the Exosphere, and so they started this contest, and all these uh, students from UNLV, our school district, uh, also were able to create what they thought should go on the outside of the sphere on the 4th of July, and so you can see the American theme here. And so right <laughs> now, public voting is open, and everyone across the world can vote on what will appear on the sphere on July 4th this summer. And uh, by the way, July 4th is the day uh, last year that we first saw the sphere lit up for the very first time. Oh. So, so they're kind of putting new images up there from students to, to mark that occasion. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Right there. Yeah. yeah Thesphere.com if you want to vote. Go in and browse around. Okay, I'm going to take a look at that in a little bit. I um, want to talk about the Mirage before I let you go. Closing for renovation. We've talked about that before, but the details of how long, a little surprising here. What can you tell us? Yeah, three years, Jamie. Oof. It's going down for three years starting July 17th, and then they're not planning to reopen until the spring of 2027. Wow. So it really is getting a top to bottom refresh, including building the 700 foot guitar tower that'll take the place of that Mirage volcano. Oh. Yeah, you know, Mirage was really the first big, you know, luxury hotel, opened in 1989. We did get some photos from the archive. Look at this, isn't that cool? Oh. This is before it was actually, you know, opened. And then, of course, they had the dolphins. You know, the Mirage is known for the show Siegfried and Roy with their tigers. You know, they performed there for so many years. It, it was iconic. Look, here's a shot of Michael Jackson that was there. Also known for the volcano out front. That's actually going to be deconstructed and taken down. Uh, the Beatles Love Show is closing in early July. So you have a minute to go see the Mirage on the inside, get your commemorative chip, and go see some of these shows before they close. But if you are booking a room, you have to be out of that room by July 14th oh. so that they can shut down on the 17th. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, it is such a rich history, including uh, for myself when my parents decided to take us as kids to the Mirage yeah. when I was like 10. So it's really the end of an era. It so is. Fun. Thank you both so much. You can hear more from Thank Dana you. and Sean each week on Vegas Revealed. It's available wherever you listen to podcasts. Now let's get